Hi guys, Marks here, Everything Tenray, and today we're going to look at the rally tower. So everything is pretty much done and I will show you guys how everything looks. So this will be a Yamaha Tenere 700 rally tower walkthrough, I guess uh, you could call it. Uh, so we will check, you know, how it fits the bike, the streamline, you know, protection wise how sturdy it is and uh, my setup pretty much so we're gonna start and look at the at the mount or the the arm that i built for the carpeter holder so let's flip the camera around and uh, yeah so here we are i do not have the side fairings on and that's uh, because you guys want to see how it looks inside <laughs> And it's easier without those. So here we have it. I will put the carpeter there in place soon. So here you can see the arm which is fitted on the mounting bracket. On the frame that holds the whole front part assembly. So it's just a sandwich on both sides there. It's made of a five millimeter aluminum, T6 aluminum. And uh, I have a few, as you've seen in my previous videos, milled out parts that sits in it, which it might not be necessary. And by any means, if you guys want to build your own holder for the carpeter, you know, send me a PM. Uh, I have traced this out in a template and modified it a bit, so you do not have to make any real custom milled out stuff to uh, fit it to your bike. So anyways, we have the carpeter holders that sits here. Uh, we have the extra charging cable that you plug in the side of the carpeter. All these charging cables goes down to a little module that will turn on the charging of the carpeter when you're idling your bike. So these I snugly fitted behind the OEM, you know, 12 volt charger, charger outlet. So they are on the side of the headlight assembly in here. You have some space in there, so they fit great in there. So I have a plug here that I can unplug. So if I want to remove the whole rally tower and everything in one go, I could do that by just removing a few screws and the bolts down here, and then I could lift it off. So no other cables that goes in here. You want to keep this space free from a lot of cables. And as you can see, it looks like it's touching here. It's actually a really snug fit and it's just a piece of tape that actually sticks out there which looks like it's touching but it's not. I will just move my camera under here. So, so everything is free to mo move. Nothing is touching or anywhere close to the carp eater uh, when you have full left and full right. You can see I put the speedo on the handlebars on my homemade mount here, which has two positions. This is the forward position and you have a, like a central position over the handlebar. So it's a bit more to the rear. Uh, I think this might be the best because if you want to have a saddlebag or anything, you don't want anything to touch uh, the speedo. To the features. So I can see if I can do this with one hand, I don't think so. But this is the height adjustment uh, screw, which will be replaced with a bicycle, you know, QD mount for, for the saddle post. Uh, so I will just have a, a thing that to bend down here or to loosen uh, to, uh, you know, adjust it. So you can have the carp eater in this position it's the lowest position so this works great for you know sitting down riding uh, on the bike uh, that's perfect and you can move it all the way up here uh, without it touching the, the windscreen maybe a little slightly less uh, you guys will see will I put the carp eater in place and uh, you can see how it looks and I will you know film it from you know sitting and standing position as well you have the terrain command you can see that i have one here 
and one over here. The goal is to move this one to the left side so you have you know, all the controls with your left hand. Uh, but you cannot keep the OEM switch panel here or the switches. So I actually ordered the KTM uh, CEV type uh, rock switches. Uh, Fork Racing also prov provides or sells a special bracket that you fasten these with so you can actually attach the SEV you know, blinker switch down here below and also the light switch up here. And so I will uh, try to make my own, but you have screw attachments here, so I could put a thing up here anyway. So I might put the blinker up there and might put, you know, the light switches on the side here. I'll, I'll see how it ends up, but somehow I will manage to do it because at the moment you can see you have the heated grips, the train come on, the OEM switch and then you have the clutch and you can see when I pull in the clutch it hits the heated grips it's free from friction zone down there anyways but you know I want to be safe another thing the terrain command has a little control unit with Bluetooth uh, I thought of putting that in front up here but that means that I need to put cable somewhere that goes over here to the arm and they are not uh, the longest. So they're actually under the tank. In front of where you have the connector for the tank, you have some space that I put it down there. The cables were just the correct length for that. I wish the cables were longer so I could put it under the seat, but yeah, that, that's how it is. So let's see how it is with the carpeter. So now, I'm sitting on the bike, the carpeter is turned on. I actually had to put the brightness down a lot because it was overexposing, so you couldn't see it. But this is sitting position and the carpeter is in the lowest angle. And uh, yeah, you can see that it's free. Nothing is touching on both sides, left and right. And uh, yeah, I have the controls here to uh, move between the different dashboards. Uh, we something I will go through in another video, just looking at the the layout of the HUD and all the functions of the terrain command as well. So standing up, I, you know, I had to put it on on the side stand. Well, this is the lowest position. You can see the. The viewing angle isn't the best if you're leaning forward, but if I have this in this position, it's perfect. I would like to have it a bit more, you know, tilted up, but then it touches the the, the windscreen here. But this is enough. I'm sure this will be plenty of angle. And even if sitting down, this is no problem. And as you can see, the the carpeter is pretty well protected from from any rain or elements coming straight from from the front. So it's streamlined. And this was the my end goal with the with this project. I didn't want to buy a very expensive rally tower having a really high up mounted. Uh, carpeter. I want it to be as low as possible, as protected as possible, uh, but be as functional as possible as well. There are some different brands. I know that Buono Racing, they make a, a rally, you know, roadbook holder or a similar kind of arm, but I think it goes up higher up, so it's even higher up than this. And you know, uh, Robert at Nomad Sweden, he made his own holder for his carpeter, which he made a special bracket that sat on the bar here and going down to the headlight assembly attachment points or screws there. Uh, but it's still just one single angle and it's a bit higher up and uh, I wanted something lower for my taste. As you can see here as well, I have an ABS off switch which I will make a video on I need to test it first 
there are several different ways to do that. So that's, uh, that's coming up as well. As well with my new graphic kit, you will see that too. But I think this uh, it's, a, it's a pretty sweet setup. And uh, you can see here, I can move the bike. It's moving a tiny bit here, but it's super stiff and rigid. So it's a really solid construction, which I'm really happy with. And uh, yeah, there are some small tweaks and changes that I will make, especially terrain command. And then we'll see what uh, comes up in the future. So I hope this was uh, informative. And if you have any questions, you know, please put it down in the comment section or send me an email or PM me or DM me on Instagram, everything underscore Tenere. And please like and subscribe this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, stay safe in this worrisome times and take care guys and don't do anything stupid cheerios bye bye